Hi guys, hope y'all doing good. So as you guys can see, um, I recently got a new room and uh, my, my sister and I actually switched rooms for certain reasons. Now I kind of like have a room where I live in my own apartment because um, I'm going to be living at my parents' house for quite a while. So it just all kind of worked out that way and also now I got like my own writing and making YouTube video studio, so <laughs> that is pretty awesome and I'm very happy about that. And um, I'm also going to be just letting you guys know I'm going to try and learn how to make my YouTube videos better because um, like I tried iMovie Maker but like I'm not very good at it right now but someone's going to teach me how to use that so just saying on the future hopefully that will improve um so today I wanted to talk about one of my blog posts on myjourneywithgod.org on my from my blog which is about uh, dreaming and planning for the future so when you get to be around my age and like when you're when you turn like 17 or even in a earlier um, ages before that um, we all like tend to dream about the future and think about the future and wonder what it will be like where we will be what we will be doing who we will be with and um, just as like everyone else I daydream about my future and um, as someone like me with 22Q deletion syndrome, um, I I wonder like, will I ever be okay with living on my own someday? Will I ever like, ha these are some of the questions that I ask myself, will I ever have a job that will pay me enough money to be able to live on my own and to get my own stuff? And, um, like, well, I have my own dog, which I think I know the answer to that. <laughs> um, well, I also, like, one of the bigger questions is, will I ever get my book out someday? And that is something that, obviously, is, you know that I'm working, really, uh, working towards that. So, these questions I ask myself almost every single day. And, um, I'm sure that, like, you ask yourself the same questions as well and some days like we might even worry about the future but mo like when we worry about the future we should remember what God says in like his, his, in his word like um, Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord pl plans to give you hope in a future and like not to harm you and that verse alone has helped me a lot throughout my life, just knowing that God has a plan for me even though I can't see what's going to happen. And even at my age, at 22, I'm still working on living independent skills like with my CLS, which is short for Community Living Support Services. I forgot to mention this in my video about my life with 22Q. And that is actually a big part of my life, uh, CLS is, because it's meant to help me to be able to live on my own one day. So I'm working on, like, everyday skills, like, um, cooking, cleaning up after myself, learning to organize, and, um, having assistance when I go places because I can't drive, and, um, all stuff like that, um, and also, I also have executive functions, so sometimes it's hard, um, like, for me to plan all these stuff out on my own and try and do them all on my own. And, let's see, um, I also wonder if I'll ever like it better at these, um, living independent skills. And I know that if you work towards like if you want to one day live on your own live in your own apartment or get a cute like house uh and like be have your own family um we have to like work towards that we have to like have a 
kind of not really like a plan in your mind but um i know that when you surrender your plans to god that he will lead and guide and direct our paths and um so yeah that's some of the stuff i wanted to talk to you guys about and um also if you guys have like goals in your life like um do you have a specific goal that you're working on this year that you know will make a good change in your life? Do you have like someone in your life that you trust who can help you reach your biggest goal, like one, living on your own one day? Um, like a loyal friend, a trusted family member, and if you don't have someone in your life like that, you can always um, pray to God and ask Him to bring someone like that into your life to help guide you and because it's definitely a blessing when you have someone like that in your life and um you can also ask ask someone in your life that seems to be nice and nice enough who seems to care about you to and ask them if they can help you reach your goals um a couple months ago my cls helper who's also my cousin carly um we worked on making a vision board for me. A vision board is what you use. You like get a plain board and you put you cut out stuff from like magazines or you can print things too. Um, and you put like your favorite verses, quotes, inspirational quotes, um, things that make you happy. Like for example, I put pictures of books <laughs> and like of coffee and dogs and my favorite inspirational quotes that help me um to reach my goals and um i have been loving my vision board and it's it reminds me every time when i look at it to always like run towards my dreams and goals and to not forget about it and to keep working towards it so there are also a lot of other resources out there besides a vision board and like books and journals journaling yourself can help you um, to plan out your goals. So what I wanted to end here with this is no goal is too big for you to achieve. If you really desire to do something or achieve something and are in your determined to do it, um, work at it and you will get there. If God has that plan in his mind too, it will happen. Some, sometimes we need to wait patiently, do our part and trust in God. So I hope that message encouraged you guys, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye!